Viserys times a great royal tournament to be held on the due date of Emma's pregnancy, to celebrate the planned birth of his son and heir. Rhaenyra visits Emma in the Red Keep, telling her she worries about her health from this most recent pregnancy. Emma insists to her daughter that as royal women, the childbed is their battlefield. She then playfully tells Rhaenyra to take a bath before seeing the council, as she smells of dragon after a day of riding. Later in private, Viserys visits Emma while she is taking a bath. He reiterates to her that he is convinced this pregnancy will finally result in a healthy son, because he had a dragon dream, more real than any memory, in which he saw his son born with Aegon the Conqueror's iron crown and seated him on the iron throne. Emma lovingly tells Viserys that if this pregnancy does not succeed she doesn't want to try again, because she cannot bear to mourn another dead child. Viserys gently concludes that not necessary because he's convinced this will be a male heir. As the heirs tournament begins, Emma goes into labor as predicted on this date. In the middle of the tourney, however, a maester recalls the king to the Red Keep. Viserys finds Emma has taken a turn for the worse, and Grand Maester Mellows informs him that the baby is in breach. Pulling him aside, Mellows tells Viserys that as the father he is now faced with an impossible choice, to sacrifice Emma or lose both her and the child. Mellows informs the king that a technique taught at the citadel involves cutting the babe directly out of the womb, and that the resulting blood loss will kill Emma without a doubt. Horrified, Viserys reluctantly tells him to try to save his potential son. Viserys holds Emma's hand and tells her that he loves her. Viserys does not inform Emma of the impending caesarean section, only saying that they're going to take the babe out. The midwives then pull Emma down on the bed and she sees Mellows holding a scalpel, and she realizes what is happening. Emma screams and pleads, no, and tries to struggle free, but the midwives pin her arms and legs down. Emma wildly howls in pain as Mellows makes the first incision, until she fades from consciousness from shock. Emma finally goes limp and dies, as the devastated Viserys stands over her. Mellows declares that the child is alive and a boy, the male heir that Viserys let his beloved wife die for. Stunned, he says they plan to name him, Balon, after his father. Unfortunately, Balon dies only a matter of hours later, making Emma's agonizing death all for nothing. At their funeral pyre, Viserys is left stunned and near catatonic. Rhaenyra weeps bitter tears telling her uncle demon that she wonders if in the brief hours her brother lived her father was finally happy, and she will never be a son. The pressure for the past decade to produce a male heir killed her mother. Demon urges her that her father in his grief needs her now more than ever. Rhaenyra signals her dragon Cyrax to set her mother and brother's combined funeral pyre ablaze, and their bodies are cremated. Emma's death haunts Viserys for years, even after he remarries to Alicent Hightower. About three years later, in the midst of a drunken vent, a grieved Viserys says to Alicent that his obsession over the dragon dream of his son sitting the Iron Throne killed Emma. Additionally, when her time to be married comes, Rhaenyra worries that she will suffer the same fate for some other lord, to churn out heirs and then die. When Viserys dies, his last words are, my love, calling out to Emma.